Hey guys, last video, we plugged everything in, we installed all of our drivers, and now it's time to get it all to talk to Cubase. So let's start up Cubase, and the first thing we see is the splash screen, and that's gonna basically be initializing the audio engine. It's gonna tell us what version we're on, and it's gonna set up all of our plugins and anything else that's related to it. All right, first thing we're greeted with is the Steinberg Hub. On the right-hand side is all the templates we can choose to start a project with, tons of stuff in here. We can go from simple acoustic guitar all the way up to a full-blown multi-track project without having to start from scratch, super handy. On the right-hand side, news and tutorials, all the latest up-to-date information about the product, so go through that. For the time being, we're basically just gonna start out with a blank, empty project. And we're gonna hit Create. This is gonna be bringing up the most important part of Cubase right here. Create a new folder for every single project. This is going to be called, let's call it test project. And we're going to put this on our audio hard drive. Hopefully you have a separate one and a fast one, but more importantly, create a new folder for every project or your life will be an organizational nightmare. Trust me on this one. All right, here's our blank project. And before we can do anything, there's nothing in it. We're not, we don't see any tracks or channels or mixer console or anything because there isn't anything. It's a blank project. So before we can do anything, we got to get our audio hardware set up. We go up to the studio menu and choose audio connections. And this is where we set up our audio interface options. All right, so it currently defaults to a stereo input. Although most simple audio interfaces, a two in, two out audio interface, don't have stereo inputs. They usually have left and right inputs, or they have input one and input two, like a mic input and a line input. So the stereo input one's really not gonna work for us. Let's get rid of that. And instead, let's go up to the add bus, and let's create two separate channels. So we can, we can create as many as we want, and we can call them anything we want. They can be mono, stereo, left, right, center, five, one, all that stuff but let's leave it mono for now and let's call this mic input. And then we hit add bus and there's our first audio input we've just created for our sound card. And then maybe the next input that it has is just a line input for like a guitar or something. So, all right, so let's make that one. Let's leave it mono because we want to be able to use them independently. And then let's call this line input. And then we add that one, for example. All right, so there's our basic sound card input setup. And on this side, we have all the audio inputs that are available for you to assign to mic input. And you can double click and rename that anything you want. If you have more audio inputs that are available, if you have a bigger sound card or even a full blown mixer, you might have lots of that audio inputs to choose from like we do because we have a mixer here that is our audio interface. But for the time being, you may only have two in and two out. So any inputs can be assigned and they can be called anything. You can double click on that and title them something different. For example, if you wanted to call that, um, you know, mic in as opposed to mic input or whatever, or call it line input one, because that's how it's going to show up in the project. So, and that can be saved as a preset. So we can go up here and we can click that little button and we can say, this is our interface. And then we click OK. A preset could be anything you wanted. And then it's up there in our presets channels. Now, maybe we have a four channel interface, all right? So we've already made a preset that has four channels. So it has four inputs and they're hardwired to audio inputs one, two, three, and four. So any configuration can be made and anyone can be saved in the presets window. So for the time being, let's just go back to our little interface and we've titled that mic in and line input. So there's our inputs. Outputs work exactly the same way. If you don't like them, you can right click and get rid of them and add new ones by the add bus. You can save the presets in any configuration you want. Stereo out just basically means we're going to have our stereo out to our audio sound card. It's going to be available and it's going to be called stereo out. You could rename that anything you wanted. You could rename it and call it, call it main outs or main output or whatever. It's just how it's going to show up in the actual audio sound cards. And these are where it go. If you have more to choose from, you can assign them to something different. So if you have a mixer, for example, and you wanted your main outs to go to output 15 and 16 instead of one and two by default, no problem and easy to save as a preset. So super fast, super flexible, and you can title and name them anything you want. All right, that is our audio connections. There's lots of other tabs to choose from. We'll go through more of that later, but that's how we set up our basic sound card to talk to Cubase. So we will see you in the next video.